Good morning. It's six o'clock. We've been up for about a half an hour. Put Bailey out to go potty first thing. 29 degrees out here, you guys. It's a cold, cold morning. Oh my goodness, she found a stick. She found a little stick. <laughs> Sun's gonna be coming up over there in just a bit. We're gonna start our day. Grand Canyon today. guys entering the Grand Canyon National Park. Woohoo! Yeah! Sherry's got her lifetime National Park senior pass. Woohoo! All right. We are at the first viewpoint here, which is just over the, um, I don't know, quarter mile from the, the fee station. We're going to get ourselves situated. We got maps and things to look at real quick. Um, get ourselves situated and then uh, go have a first look at the Grand Canyon. From the parking lot, there's many little uh, path areas, many little walking paths to get down to the viewpoint. Uh, we're going to go look at the uh, the watchtower, which is at the end here, and then the desert viewpoint is at the end. So uh, we're pretty much just going to walk straight down, see what we can see. It's very, very exciting. This is the watchtower. Uh, you can climb up it. It doesn't open, I think, until 10 a.m., which is kind of a bummer. I think it might be open. Is it open? Well, let's go see. Perfect. All right, the tower is open. I've got a an entry ticket in ten minutes. They let the first glance at the Grand Canyon. Holy cow! There's snow right there. Oh my gosh. Just gonna walk around here. Only got a few more, few minutes before I get to get up in the tower. Holy cow. What a view. Side here, have a look. Then I'll go stand in line to climb up there. What a day! Wow! What a day! Holy smokes! This is inside the building here. This is the conservancy shop and some viewing windows. Look at the construction in here. This is awesome. Uh, and then we're going to go up those stairs. There's four flights of stairs to get to the top. Wow, this is spectacular. Let's see if it's time for us to go up yet. I guess there's Native American paintings uh, on some of the levels here. So this is, uh, I think this is Hopi, she said. Wow. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Even paintings around the interior, the edge here, are both of them. Ceiling. All right, let's continue up.
There's Sherry down there. Here, so you can see me. All right, cool. I switched sides with the dog. I'm gonna let Sherry go up. They don't allow dogs up the stairs, which is understandable. It's pretty narrow and windy, huh? Yeah, come here, you and me. You need to go over here. Let's go over here. There she is. She's in the window on the right, waving to us. Very cool. Good. I'm glad she got to go up there. It's beautiful inside. So I asked a little information about the tower. It was built in the 1920s uh, and it was built up as part of the railroad tourist industry that was coming to the Grand Canyon at that time, uh, just as a view tower. So it didn't have any significant purpose other than being a, a view tower. Next stop on our driving tour here is Navajo Point. It's just a, what was it, point? Nine. Nine from the uh, parking lot back there. You can see the tower right there. Oh yeah, there's the tower. Let me zoom in on it up here. Wow. Let's zoom in on the tower. Yeah, we were just right there. Looking at the view. Breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Oh, wow. Talk about up close and personal on the edge there, huh? <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, kids. Yeah, like Emily said, because she was just here a couple weeks ago, she said, you could just go over. This is Lipen Point. A little pull off here. Let's take a look at the view out here. Wow. Oh man. That's spectacular. This is this is a good one for me. Holy cow. barely even see like the Colorado just kind of blends in down there. It does, you're right. Yeah, the Colorado River's right here. Let's zoom in on it for you. Right there. It does just blend in. And then look, look at the depth we've got here. Wow. That's gorgeous. Oh, all kinds of stuff going on. I know, just seeing just the depth of that. The layers of rock, of erosion. This one would be neat to see like at wow. sunset or... It would be. This would be a beautiful place for sunrise or sunset. Oh my gosh. See how it's like scalloped around this, this point here? Oh yeah. Scalloped all the way around. Yeah. Uh, the, the bottom one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sherry was pointing out uh, this bottom ridge right here. That's just got like scalloped edge there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, that's gorgeous.
we're out here just awed at the view in front of us with the canyon and the, the different layers and the colors and the shapes. I didn't even notice. Look at those mountains out in the distance there. I'll zoom in on that. That's funny. I have to look, actually look up. I thought, whoa, cool. So we are uh, at just below 9,000 feet in elevation um, at this point here. Sherry and I both were thinking separately. <laughs> separately, and then I, I finally said something. Like, What's what? wrong with me? I, why are we so tired? Why can't we breathe? We're walking an around day today. Jeez, we're 9,000 feet. That's a decent elevation. So it's definitely, we're definitely feeling that elevation. It's definitely getting winded. But um, wow, you guys, unbelievable. Next pull-off is here at the Tusayan Museum uh, in Ruins. So the museum building is right in front of us. Uh, and then you can walk down here to the uh, the ruins. We're going to go check that out. Uh, excavation of the ruins was conducted in 1930 under the direction of Harold S. Gladwin and the staff of Gila Pueblo of Globe, Al Globe Arizona. Uh, they named it Tusayan following the Spanish nomenclature for the district. The exact meaning is lost to us. The museum was established to interpret the partially excavated ruin. Uh, the ruin is unique in that no attempt was made at reconstruction and portions of the ruin were deliberately left unexcavated. That's cool. Okay, let's go check it out. Well, the museum's closed, even though it says hours are nine to five. So let's go check out the ruins. Maybe it'll be open when we're done and we come back. Part of the tour of the ruins here, we're walking around uh, this area in front of us is a low-lying wash where they used to farm. Uh, they raised corn, beans, and squash. That's kind of cool. It's actually a pretty big area. It extends mm -hmm. off in that direction quite a ways and, and goes all the way over there. This is just beautiful. These were storage rooms, small areas that they used to store a variety of probably their um, food stores and different things. Uh, this is a kiva, a large kiva. Ceremonial room. Oh, okay. I guess we're pronouncing that right. We're using this. Hawaiian pronunciation. Kiva? Kaiva? <laughs> Kiva? Cool. So there's a fire pit in the center. See yeah. kind of where that is. Entrance. Entrance was, oh yeah, over there. there. Okay. Seating around the edge here. Nice. In this area here, there's large rooms in here. There's three large rooms. These, uh, this was the living area. Those would be the living quarters. Uh, the placard on the other side explains that it says, um, it was believed to have been a, um, a two-story at one point in time, but um, the rocks suggest maybe not. Uh, that's kind of neat. So this was their, this was where they lived, little rooms. What's over here? Rubs and grasses have overtaken this once heavily used open plaza. Plaza. Hmm. Okay. Working and playing in the south-facing plaza. All right. place for daily activities, even during the cooler season. Okay. That was the playground. Well, no museum. It's closed. Museum for us today. No. But man, that was really cool, walking around those ruins. Yeah. And uh, the aroma from the trees, the variety of trees. There's junipers, there were some pinion pines, uh, some sage. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, this is Moran Point. Go check this out. I got Bailey with me, so Bailey's in tow. Got to give her her time to sniff. It's her vacation too. So Moran Point, this is uh, for Thomas Moran. He was a painter who uh, did amazing landscape uh, paintings of the Grand Canyon here. Uh, in 1837, a geologist John Wesley Powell invited Moran to accompany his geological survey of the Grand Canyon region. Uh, that's when he started uh, doing color paintings. Uh, says here that in an era of the black and white photograph, the colored paintings just brought this to life for so many people. Amazing. We're walking from this uh, pull-off here, which is a restroom at a picnic area, down this path here, based on a Google uh, suggestion, to see a viewpoint to see the sinking ship. I'm trying to figure out where to go, and I think this might be it. Let's go see what we can find. Wow. 
And that was only about a five minute walk and it opens up to this. Wow. Okay, cool. Look at that. That was worth the little exploration here. Yeah. Let me get over here so I'm not on the on the edge edge. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. I guess that's called the sinking ship. Trail does go further. It does. Let's go a little further. Let's see. I'm going to put this down. I don't have any trekking poles. Yeah. All right, there's snow right here. I'm going to bring Bailey back a snowball. Let me get down here and do it. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of gritty snow. Not good for packing. But it's snow at the... Anyway, let's bring Bailey back a little snowball. She'll appreciate that. Wow. That's awesome. Almost back to the van. Here's my snowball for Bailey. It's melting rapidly. It's much smaller than when I started. Bailey girl, we got your snowball. Mom, got your snowball. <gasps> What's this? What's this? What is that? What is that? Get name? it. What's this? What is that? Come here. Bailey. What is that? It's a snowball. She says, I don't know. Come here, look. What's this? Whoa, what is that? She doesn't care. She says, I don't care. There's too many sniffs. I carried that all the way from the edge of the cliff. What's that? Look at it. It's a snow cone. It's a Grand Canyon snow cone. <gasps> what is that? We get the ball? The ball? <gasps> no. There's just too many sniffs. It's a snowball. Okay, what? you ready? <gasps> oh, yeah. Look at that. There you go. Good job. There you go. Okay, mom feels better now. Good job. Mom feels better. <laughs> you had numb, some snow. It was, it was all worth it on my numb hand. <laughs> this is just a pull off on the side of the road here. We skipped the Grand View lookout area. It was too crowded. There were no parking spaces. Uh, we might come back tomorrow. But uh, just a couple miles down the road from Grand View is this little pull off with a gorgeous view. Wow. Another little pull off, just a mile or so down the road. I think we're gonna do lunch here. It's uh, it's noon. This viewpoint is Duck Rock. Let me zoom in on it right here. Looks like a duck. Walking up the path here, you get a different angle of Duck Rock. Yeah, this is Duck Rock from here. Definitely better, uh, better view from the parking lot. And there's people down there. Uh, we just saw them. They walked around the corner. Or the, oh, there they go. They're gonna come out the other side. Ah, uh, you can do it. But I don't know. You feeling adventurous today? No, not that adventurous. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. We'll just hang here. Wow. Yeah. Look at this, Jerry. Look at the. Yeah, that overhead undercut area there. Wow. That's so beautiful. We're almost to the west entrance of the park here. This is probably the last viewpoint pull off before we get there. There's actually three little uh, turnouts as we were coming up here. This is the third one. We were able to squeeze in a, a good spot right there. Wow. Look at this. So, yeah, you think you think that's the bottom of it, right? But no, it goes even deeper. That's just like water runoff. The canyon itself drops down there. Wow. What a view, you guys. What a view. Look at this.
right, this is our spot for the night. We are on Long Jim Loop Road, just outside of Tosayan, Arizona, which is just a couple miles from uh, the entrance to the Grand Canyon. So we're out of National Park land and into National Forest land. Uh, we're gonna park here for the night, enjoy ourselves, get some rest and get up early. And we're gonna head back into the park tomorrow to maybe uh, stop at that Grand View pullout that we didn't get a chance to do because it was too busy. And possibly do like the visitor center and then there's a museum up there that we wanna go check out. Shower, and shower maybe, they have showers there. So we'll, we'll talk about that. But this is, our, this is our spot for the night. Morning from our camp spot here on Jim Long Loop Road outside of Tosayan. We are getting an early start. It's just now 6 a.m. We are going to head right away to that Grand View lookout point within the National Park, the Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, we don't want to dilly-dally. It got really full by noon yesterday. There was no parking. There were cars just kind of circling. So we're going to head out and we're going to go there. We'll have breakfast there. We'll do our things uh, and then we'll start our day from that point. But uh, good morning. We're out here at about 6.30 a.m. before the crowds show up. Uh, this is the lookout point that was just overflowed yesterday. There's no way we could have come down here. We definitely wanted to see this before we took off out of the park. So here we are. Wow, look at the colors, sunrise. Yeah, Grand View lookout point. Wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's also a trailhead parking lot, so it's, that's part of the reason why it was so busy. Wow, you guys. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. worth it to come back. I came down the trail here to this little point. Unobstructed panorama view here. Wow. Look at the depth of that. I don't even know if that's gonna come out on the on the video, but wow, that's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Sherry just said, well, I guess you're not afraid of heights anymore. <laughs> wow. Decided to make a stop at the uh, Yavapai Geology Museum. Yavapai Point. We're going to check this out. I think it's open. Even though it's early. What time is it? I don't know what time it is here. Let me look. Uh, it's eight, it's nine o'clock. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Wow, that's a view. Oh my gosh. Trail down there. This is a really cool display of the Grand Canyon here. We're here at Yavapai Point on the south rim. Wow. So the Colorado River is digging in here. We started here yesterday at Desert View, went to Lipen Point. We checked out the ruins, Moran Point. We did Grand View Point this morning because we missed it yesterday because it was so busy. Then we continued on. Uh, this is the whole Grand Canyon Village area and visitor center. We're now at uh, uh, Yavapai Point, rather, I'm sorry. Uh, Yaki Point is a big trailhead. Uh, Yavapai Point, where we might go to Hopi Point, check that out while we're here today. But man, there's so much more to it than, than we get to like experience and see. That's crazy. And we've stepped outside the building. 
for one last view here before we move on. This is spectacular. Wow. Yeah, we come over here and look at this over here. Sherry's got the binoculars out. We're spotting all kinds of stuff. The bridge down there, the across the Colorado, and oh, the rafts, all kinds of stuff we're looking at. You can actually see hikers way down there. What an awesome place. What an awesome place. Breathtaking. This is why you come early. Wow, it's only 10 o'clock. Well, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock and we're leaving the Grand Canyon. This, everybody's trying to come in. Well, that's our time at the Grand Canyon National Park. We're leaving. Uh, this is the west entrance to the south rim. Uh, cars are already starting to back up here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we had a great time in the last couple days visiting the park. Really, really enjoyed ourselves. Looking forward to coming back again and doing some more things because we didn't do it all. The plan is to head down to Williams where we will get gas. That'll be the cheaper option to fill up. It's like $5 in uh, to Cyan. The gas, like five bucks into Cyan. So plan is to head down to Williams. We're gonna fill up with gas there and then uh, continue our jaunt west and then north. We're making our way back to Washington, you guys. Slowly but surely. We had a great time here. We stopped in the uh, visitor center here in to Cyan and we did the, uh, the IMAX. The IMAX movie here. It was about a 30 minute movie, 35 minute movie about the Grand Canyon. Really very cool, very informative, and beautifully photographed. Now we're going to head back out on the road and continue our day. Yeah.